Hi, I'm Patrick Mannion here again. I'm joined by Kishore again from Qualcomm Atheros at uh, CES 2012. And Kishore is going to give us a quick rundown of Wi-Fi Direct. Okay, Thank you very much. So, uh, what we have out here is basically Wi-Fi Direct, which has been a standard for the last couple of uh, years. We're now basically focusing on Wi-Fi Display, which is going to be standardized in the middle of 2012 time frame. Right. Uh, QCA has been uh, actively participating in the plug fest over the last couple of months. We finished plug fest three. We got two more plug fest to go before certification happened in Q2. Uh, what Qualcomm is basically focusing on is building an entire ecosystem of product, both in sources, in handhelds, as well as tablets and computing platforms, and notebooks, for example, as well as sync devices, which would be basically integrated in the TV or devices that would be connected to the TV as dongles or IPDMA boxes. From this ecosystem, what customers will basically, or consumers will be, be able to take an advantage of would, would be that with no infrastructure in place, with a point-to-point -point connection, they can actually display what they have on their screen as a source. In right. this case, it's a PC, it's an x86 platform with a QCA 2x2 uh, two two wireless LAN combo uh, running on Windows 7, right. displaying it on any TV that has an HDMI interface connected to our accessory devices in the consumer space that would basically be running just a wireless LAN connection with an SOC out here. So essentially we're using an H264 based solution, uh, 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 H264 based encoder right. here, H264 based decoder displaying out here. Thank Something you, like man. this could be within the TV itself and you'll basically yeah, yeah. see in the future TVs with Wi-Fi display enabled uh, integrated in there with wireless LAN. What sort of range can you get from the PC to so the So we've been the, able the to screen. get this you know, across the house basically, uh, but this is really a technology that is in a in, pan in or room. a personal network environment or within a LAN environment. Now you're facing competition from the likes of Ygig at 60, 60 gigahertz, also trying to do the same thing. So in fact, we have a Ygig implementation out here too. Oh really? We basically okay. have partnered with Velocity on 60 gigahertz. We believe that 60 gigahertz is a good complement some of the higher speed application that would be requiring a, a, a localized based solution because of 60 gigahertz technology. And we see areas like docking stations and all the 60 gigahertz sure. makes a lot of sense. What we are seeing basically is Wi-Fi display running on 11N with H264 allows us to basically permeate with wireless LAN this particular use case where there's no HDMI cable that's required yeah. from the source to the same device. You can do the same for audio too, right? For, uh, for, I'm sorry? You can do the same for straight audio feeds too, right? Oh, this is with yeah. audio and video. I know uh, a lot of noise AV, right, you yeah, can't yeah. hear it, but it's really audio and video. But, 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 but for audio alone, right? Like say yeah. from, from your iPod or whatever you can. Yeah. So you can use it with any any of the standard wireless LAN for audio or video. That's how gotcha, okay. Good stuff. And uh, uh, how soon will, will it be available on the market? I think it basically, we basically we are sort of sampling this in the first quarter of this year. You should see products by end of Q2 to definitely in the second half of this year once certification is done. The decision for launch is really dependent on the OEM right. as they get through certification in Q2 time. Do any OEMs come to, come to mind when it comes to getting these shipped? I think what we've been really surprised over the last four and a half months, we've seen interest from mobile customers yeah. uh, who are basically looking at our MSM 8960, uh, looking at our x86 computing platform, TV manufacturers as well as our retail and consumer electronics OEM are all interested in building yep. products with Wi-Fi display enabled with QCA wireless LAN uh, to basically bring this entire ecosystem together. Can you show me where the chip is in here? So right now we have basically a two by two dual band. It's a USB based connected. Uh, this is it. It's a two by two dual band. My dad. And it's a, the 9374, which we're launching uh, in Q1, which will basically be supporting Wi-Fi display. It's a 2x2 USB-based uh, solution, which will be available for the retail market and for the sync devices. Out here is a PCIe-based 2x2 combo-based product, um, which will basically be available for in the Q1 timeframe also. And this will basically support Wi-Fi display on Windows 7 and, and in the future with Windows 8. Good stuff. Okay, thanks, Kishore. Appreciate your time. Appreciate okay. it. Good job.